Yes, it worked! I had dino bait all over the backyard for dinosaurs to find. So whenever I have to do a dino experiment, the dinosaurs will never be far away. Do you want to help me barbecue these beef burgers for dinner? Yes. Well, you need an apron. I'll go and get that. No, not the burgers! Uh-oh. Oh, well, it's too bad he ate all our beef burgers, but I have whipped up my very famous salmon burgers. Oh, and Trekkie, please make sure that Giggy Janosaurus doesn't eat my famous salmon burgers. The salmon burgers are safe. The Chiganotosaurus doesn't eat fish, but the baby Spinosaurus sure does. Sorry, baby, but I already lost one batch of Grandma's famous burgers. I don't want to lose another one. Pterodactylises! They're fish eaters, too. I gotta go save those salmon burgers. Oh, no. Here goes my dinner. So are you sure they don't like burgers made out of veggies? They won't want your famous veggie burgers, Grandma. Oh, that is such a relief. I, oh, I need cheese. <gasps> a tricorette! You know what? If I've learned anything today, it's to make sure these burgers don't get out of my hands. Kiss. Those burgers were for you. What happened this time? I forgot about the herbivores. The herbivores. You know, Grandma, I'm starting to think it's not such a good idea that I hid all this dino bait in the backyard. Now what are we going to do for dinner? We get over pizza. OK, Trek, what do you want on your pizza? Cheese. <laughs> I actually want to eat something this time. <laughs> That's right. Dino Dan, Trek's Adventures. Trek's Digital Field Guide, the Truodon. One of the brainiest dinosaurs is the Truodon. His name means wounding tooth. And paleontologists think he's an omnivore. That means he eats meat and veggies. The Truodon lived during the Cretaceous period, over 65 million years ago. What's really cool about the Truodon is that it has the biggest brain compared to its body of all the dinosaurs. That means it's really smart for a dino. Hey, Trudon, you're such a smarty dino. Trex Digital Field Guide, the Truidon. My hedgehog Mario is so excited about coming to our class. Mario's cool, but not as cool as the new invention I brought. What I'm bringing is a big surprise. It's so special, my dad's gonna drop it off later. What'd you guys bring all this stuff to school for? For show and tell today. Yeah. Oh man, I totally forgot to bring something. There's gotta be something around here I can use. I'll be right back. Okay. A Satakasaurus! <laughs> Ooh, check out your tail quills. One of those would be so perfect for show and tell. Yes! <sighs> now all I have to do is figure out how to get one. What's that smell? It, it's, it smells like... Bacon! It's my dad's famous apple bacon pie. That's perfect. Bacon is meat. Yeah. And the Albertosaurus is a carnivore. Hannah, can I borrow your pie at recess? I promise I'll be really careful with it. OK, but if anything happens to this pie, you're baking me a new one. OK, deal. <gasps> Smell the bacon. The Albertosaurus sees the Cetacosaurus. And now the Cetacosaurus sees the Albertosaurus. It's spooked, but is it spooked enough to show the Albertosaurus its tail? I think the Cetacosaurus is telling you that you don't want a mouthful of tail quills. You shed a quill too. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Satakosaurus. So it turns out the Satakosaurus is a lot like the hedgehog. Great job, Trek.